Hey everyone, welcome back to the channel. Today, we're diving into a deep, important topic that affects millions of people around the world. How childhood trauma impacts your relationships as an adult, whether it's through attachment styles, emotional triggers, or even how we communicate with our partners, the effects of childhood trauma can show up in ways we often don't recognize. But once we understand these patterns, we can start to heal and build healthier, more fulfilling relationships. So let's unpack this complex topic and explore how our past shapes our present relationships, and most importantly, how we can break free from harmful cycles. Understanding childhood trauma. What does it look like? Before we dive into the effects on adult relationships, let's first define childhood trauma. Trauma in childhood doesn't always come from extreme situations like abuse or neglect, although those are very real and serious experiences. It can also stem from situations like emotional neglect, constant criticism, witnessing domestic violence, or growing up in a chaotic or unstable household. In fact, according to the National Institute of Mental Health, trauma can be any event or series of events that overwhelms a child's ability to cope. The Impact of Childhood Trauma on Attachment Styles one of the most significant ways childhood trauma affects adult relationships is through attachment styles. Attachment theory, first developed by psychologist John Bowlby, suggests that the way we bond with our caregivers in early childhood shapes how we form relationships later in life. If you experience trauma as a child, especially related to your caregivers, it's likely that you developed an insecure attachment style. There are four main attachment styles, secure, anxious, avoidant, and fearful avoidant. While securely attached individuals generally feel safe and confident in their relationships, those with insecure attachment styles, particularly anxious or avoidant, may struggle with intimacy and trust. For example, people with an anxious attachment style often worry about abandonment and may become overly dependent on their partners for validation and reassurance. On the other hand, individuals with an avoidant attachment style may distance themselves emotionally fearing vulnerability and intimacy because it makes them feel unsafe. Both of these attachment styles are common in adults who experienced childhood trauma, particularly if their caregivers were inconsistent, unavailable, or emotionally neglectful. A 2016 study published in the Journal of Personality and Social Psychology found that individuals with a history of childhood trauma were significantly more likely to develop insecure attachment styles. This creates a cycle where these individuals seek out relationships but struggle to maintain healthy connections because of unresolved emotional wounds. Emotional Triggers How Trauma Resurfaces in Relationships Another major way childhood trauma affects adult relationships is through emotional triggers. Trauma leaves emotional scars that can be easily triggered by certain situations, behaviors, or even words. These triggers often cause an emotional reaction that feels disproportionate to the situation at hand, but it's not the current event causing the reaction, it's the unresolved trauma from the past. For example, if you were emotionally neglected as a child, being ignored or dismissed by your partner, no matter how small the instance, can trigger intense feelings of abandonment or rejection. This can lead to arguments or emotional outbursts that seem out of place, but are actually rooted in deep-seated fears and unresolved pain. Psychologists often refer to this as emotional flashbacks, where the person is not consciously aware that their reaction is connected to past trauma, but their emotional response is being driven by it. According to the American Psychological Association, emotional triggers are one of the most challenging aspects of trauma recovery because they can make it difficult to differentiate between the past and the present, especially in emotionally charged situations. These triggers can create a cycle of conflict in relationships. The partner who is triggered may feel overwhelmed by their emotions, while the other partner may feel confused or even blamed for something they don't understand. This is why understanding your emotional triggers is crucial for healing and improving your relationships. In many cases, individuals with childhood trauma may unknowingly reenact the roles they played as children in their adult relationships. For example, if you grew up in a household where you had to be the caretaker, either for emotionally absent parents or younger siblings, you might find yourself taking on that same role in your adult relationships. You might feel responsible for your partner's emotions, often putting their needs ahead of your own and neglecting your own self-care. Conversely, if you were often criticized or made to feel inadequate as a child, you might carry that belief into your adult relationships. You might expect criticism or rejection from your partner, 
even when it isn't there, and become overly sensitive to perceived slights. This can lead to defensiveness, arguments, or withdrawing emotionally to protect yourself. The issue here is that when these roles are not recognized or addressed, they can become patterns that undermine the relationship. Partners might feel trapped in unhealthy dynamics that don't reflect their true needs or desires, but instead are driven by unresolved childhood pain. Studies show that childhood trauma survivors are more likely to struggle with communication, often resorting to conflict avoidance, passive aggression, or emotional outbursts because they haven't learned healthier ways to express their emotions. The good news is that healing from childhood trauma is possible. It's a difficult process, but it can lead to healthier, more fulfilling relationships. The first step in breaking these cycles is recognizing the patterns and behaviors that are rooted in your past. Once you become aware of how your childhood experiences are affecting your current relationships, you can start to make changes. Therapy, particularly trauma-focused therapies like cognitive behavioral therapy, CBT, or eye movement. Desensitization and reprocessing, EMDR, can be incredibly effective in helping individuals process unresolved trauma and learn healthier coping mechanisms. These therapies help you understand the root cause of your emotional triggers and teach you how to manage them in a way that doesn't harm your relationships. It's also important to practice self-compassion during this healing process. Trauma can lead to feelings of shame or guilt, especially if you believe that your reactions or behaviors aren't too much. But remember, your trauma is not your fault, and healing takes time. By acknowledging your past and taking steps toward healing, you're not only improving your own mental and emotional well-being, but you're also giving your relationships the chance to thrive. For those of you in relationships where your partner is dealing with unresolved childhood trauma, it's important to be supportive, but also to recognize your own limits. Trauma healing is deeply personal, and while you can be there for your partner, they ultimately have to take responsibility for their healing journey. Offering empathy, patience, and encouragement can help them feel safe enough to open up and seek the help they need. However, it's equally important to set boundaries and prioritize your own emotional health. Supporting a partner through trauma can be emotionally exhausting, especially if the trauma creates recurring conflict in the relationship. Therapy, both individual and couples therapy, can be an essential tool for both partners to learn how to navigate these challenges together. Childhood trauma has a profound impact on how we navigate relationships as adults, but understanding these patterns is the first step toward healing. Whether you're dealing with the effects of your own trauma or supporting a partner through theirs, know that healing is possible. With self-awareness therapy and compassion, we can break free from the past and build healthier, more fulfilling relationships. Thanks so much for watching today's video. If you found this helpful, please give it a thumbs up subscribe to the channel, and hit the notification bell so you don't miss any future content on relationships, mental health, and personal growth. And in the comments, let me know, how have you seen the effects of childhood experiences in your adult relationships? I'd love to hear your stories.